And this isn't even the game that we're going to be playing. But yeah. Why would you want to use a yeah. marker? Dude, this is nice. Nope. This is a game in a box. Ten played. I'm wrong. This box is nice. You're done. This is how JD and Subsea gets there, so I'm sorry. So join us as we open and review the new Necromunda box set, Hive Secundus. This time on JD in the Subsea. Welcome back. This is JD in the Subsea. I'm Jay. I'm D. And today we're opening the Necromunda Hive Secundus box. We have been waiting for weeks. I've done six tiles worth of builds for this very game right here. And this isn't even the game that we're going to be playing on any of that terrain that I'm making. Nope. This is a game in a box. Now let's look at the back. Sure. There's the back. Look at all that cool stuff that's in here. Um, it looks like there's bulkheads and mats and dice and let's open this thing. All right. What was this, $170? We get the standard 10 plates. And the same as every Necromunda box they've ever put out yes. since then 17. That's true. Out. Thanks for joining us, you guys. I really appreciate it. There's a whole lot of sprues of very little, little bottles. And bulkheads, original. And it's the short sprue. There's only four bulkheads. No, five bulkheads and two doors. You get five for the double squares and you get two for the single squares. Mm -hmm. That's kind of Ooh. Oh, oh, look at the back of that. Yes. Everything Necromunda paraphernalia, you can buy it. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, hey, look at that. Goodness. Okay, this is cool. Okay, okay. So this is, we need another one of these, dude. Only one in a two-person game. Bases. Flying bases. I bet it's for those little floating heads. Sorry, I'm just, this is kind of Christmassy right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yes. yes. Oh, oh, oh. They do look really nice at first. They're really cool. Uh, okay, so all of you, I said that we're full of on the internet, uh, that the dice are really pretty. They're, they're, I'm wrong. Cards. Ooh. I think these are supposed to be weaker versions. I don't know. Yeah, they're they're sure just either. different. Yeah. Um, because compare. the thing with this game, if I remember correctly, the mouse strings don't have a point value. No. No. What they do is they have these things called uh, mouse strain points. And each time you go down a level, from what I understand, um, the arbiter, who is the second person playing the game, mm -hmm. um, has an amount of points to pull gene stealer models with. Armored Shroud. This box is nice. Yeah, this is really nice. That's really like this. nice. Armored Shrouds. Oh, Archaeotech Loot. Wow. Those are cool. Oop. Under Hell's Territory. Abandoned Tech. Uh, uh, <laughs> I need to make sure that I keep these cards available because this is what I'm going to be building my Under Hell's, under Hell's Territory. Very nice. Uh, these are just blank cards. Um, oh, yeah. So. They're nice. not as, yeah, this is different than the other this one. This is, though, it's really, I think it's very lighter. white. Yeah. yeah, it's very white in there. I think they've been um, changing that. good. They have yeah. been, because the original from, ones from N17, you can't actually write very yeah. thing up. Yeah. Unless you use a marker. Right. But Why yeah. would you want to use a yeah. marker? <laughs> or a pen. But hey, you know, I mean, who am I? I only buy all their stuff and play the game. Now what is this? Oh, that. Oh, we have this. Oh, what does this do? Oh, oh, this is the instructions. Instructions. Colored instructions. Oh, wow. For That's putting together. The first time I've seen that. Look at this dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, I don't, I don't think there's enough steps. I think they probably no, could have done but more. They, no, but they colored the 
they color into pieces. This right. is really cool. Because that's always been my problem with squinting at those things. They're just black and white and yeah. gray. And yeah. I'm like, Okay, what's in here? Oh my god, no. Seal? Well, no, no, now you can't resell it. <laughs> oh, cheat sheet. Oh, that's nice. Lasting injury table. Oh, hey, look. Got another one. Got the Sanity, what? Blaze. What? Who's the rolling tool and the falling damage? Falling damage. Okay, so. I hate here trying to find that. Here are book. very interesting things because this is actually a useful cheat sheet for the game that's in here. So. It's pretty obvious to me that you're going to have to deal with insane because of the insanity charts here. Rolling the wound, falling, those are standard things. Blaze, I believe, is an active thing because it's on the cheat sheet. And we have blind, webbed, and the lasting injury tip. So basically, you're going to play in Secunda and you're going to die. It looks like. I'm probably going to let it still. By yeah, one yeah. of the situations, by on fire, being crazy. Um, not seeing anything or getting wet. <laughs> oh, and falling. Falling. Here we go. Falling's the only way you die. Sounds like standard necromancy. <laughs> right. <laughs> New tokens. Really like this. <sighs> the rule book. Battle for survival beneath a ruined hives. This. You know, there was a lot of. I heard a lot of bitching about this being a paperback. Dude, this is nice. This is really, really nice. Yeah, go it's ahead and feel that. Back, That's yeah. really nice. And it certainly looks nice. Uh, but it feels but, nice, too. But it feels good. This yeah. is not standard paperback no. paperback. No, it's not. It's not, paper. it's not crummy paper. It's no, nice. it's not crummy paper. Oh, my God. See, I have to order this. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. there's the map of Secundus. Now, here's the thing. This is taking place right in the middle of the hole. Under, in the underhills. There's an, uh, a hive called Dovas and Nostrum. And here's the old Secundan front. High tower, swarming Helmite. What? Xenos quarantine zone. Yeah. If you go by this map, it's totally going to be something we can do with Ash Waste as well. But here we go, we're going to break the seal on this. This must be the map. We haven't seen that yet. I really hope so, because there's <laughs> nothing else in here. <laughs> right. There it is. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Look at that one. Oh, that's very interesting. So with the mat, if you guys didn't want to, you don't have to buy these things, which is the data slate. Um, this is the data slate thing where you yeah. are the data crystal. Yeah, right, data crystals. Um, you're supposed to go to this get data crystals, and then your Archaeotechs, uh, hunters, yeah. right. can build stuff. Right. Um, I have to do a little bit of shooting on this later to see if these are the same size as the Secundus ones. They look like it. I just got done with that video, um, which actually was today. So yes, we have a video that came out today, and now we're videoing again. Well, it's are funny. These the same? No, are these no, the same? they're not the same. No, I don't. See, this is what I was wondering that yeah. I never got an answer to online. So uh, this is different than that one. And actually, the other side of this is different. Yeah, there are four different sides to this. Oh yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, that totally yeah, works. Kind of some of this out of the way a little bit. For all of you having a big issue with all the organizational fact, this is how JD and Subsea did stuff, so I'm sorry. We're very organized. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Oh, well, yeah, throw what? No, I'm just kidding. It's great. It works too. Out. <laughs> This, this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is this is six tiles, yeah, actually. It's six tiles. It right. actually equates yeah. to six no, tiles. No, it's supposed to equate to six tiles, which, funny enough, that's great. Um, I didn't actually sure realize this that. This last video, you have six. Tiles. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Maybe like that was thought about originally. Let's be we'll right back in a second. So we got these uh, scummer kits. Is. Is. This is a spire. Spire. 
these are the Van Sar. Yeah, I can tell that. From yeah, the yeah. yeah, no, no, these are the tech. Yeah, but this is a Van Sar kit. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. But the Elm Street's. Ah, here we are. Look. Oh, the those are the brain bugs. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to convert these. They're really skinny. I thought there was more meat on this. All right. That's cool. Oh, that's another arcade tech. Oh, cool. And another those. mouse string. So, oh, so there Go are, ahead. yeah, so there are I see the ahead. heads on here. These are the heads that you're supposed to use on the hive scum to make them feel like the jeans right. the hive scum guys. Right. And they're on these sprues. So right. everything's on but, the sprue. But the thing is, is that um, there's also heads on these sprues. Yeah, right. So, but these look like the tech. The regular human heads, I think. This is the regular right. hive scum sprue, yeah. Ooh. A little belt cap. It's a bit of a belt cap. We've seen this before. Mm. Close up. I really do like these doors. I think I they're know. really cool. Mainly because they have this option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the best option that they've ever come up with. Mm -hmm. That is a cool picture. So this is satiny. This is a satiny cover. I know it's a it's a it's a soft back. But the picture, the paper is. Holy it crap. is glossy. It's very high quality. Actually. Yeah, this is this is not bad. I mean, this the original high war stuff was much worse than this. Mm -hmm. So, oh, you do get. All right. These are the basic rules. Then you get your fighters. I think the main difference is the campaign is run differently, but I think the rules for Necromunda are the same rules. It's okay, roster roster. roster look like here. This is the same as what it what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like a Dominion campaign almost. The rules. Okay, so so far. Okay, so there was a lot of people that were making statements as to who this box was for. You can have a brand new player. Mm -hmm. This is all the rules. Mm -hmm. that, so far, this is all the basic rules. They have advancements. They have psychers. psychers and Necromunda. Okay, and then they have the campaign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... If you buy this box and you're a new Necromunda player, uh, you can totally learn how to play Necromunda by this box. Yep. I was not under that impression. Mm -hmm. I thought this was not going to have... This is really cool. They have all of the updated rules from the new the uh, the new core rule book. Yep. Okay, I'm totally impressed. This is not even a... a from what I'm just looking, no. This is all pretty much, I mean, yep. word for word. Yeah, nerve tests. Mm -hmm. Four paragraphs, that's from the main book. Mm -hmm. In the Hive War one, it's not like that. No. Um, okay. Oh, this is cool. All right, yeah, if you're new to Necromunda, totally get this. Granted, the campaign system is, you know, kind of just what's the models in the box. But you can buy a Goliath gang, and if you buy this, and you'll have hide scum, you'll have gene stealers, you'll have a Goliath gang, and all the rules. Mm -hmm. You're done. There you go. You have the dice. Have you have yeah, right. You have dice. You have some terrain. You've got the counters. You've got counters. Um, the only thing you don't get in this is tactics cards. There's no tactics cards. That's true. Um, but if you have the house up book, it'd be in there. Anyway. But if you have a, if they have the house up book, yeah. Um, no, for 170, 100. To $230, you're, you're playing. Mm -hmm. You're ready to go. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, no, I don't have any problem with this at all. This is a great, this is a great buy. Why do I listen to the internet? I don't know why I do that. Have we played this? All right, one? well, that is our unboxing um, of. Yeah, a lot different than any other unboxing that I even know, mainly because. Uh, script shit so we did not do this seven times this is the first time no, not at all this is one so take I just one done this. 
Five Secundus, Jade Sweater, My Bald Head. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.